Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing a video on DC TV and Supergirl and The Flash mainly. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so I just wanted to say the giveaway is closed for the Crisis on Infinite Earths DVD. That was like four days ago or something like that. So that's been sent out to the winner already. I'm probably going to be doing another one sometime later this week, so please be sure to tune into every video. I'm sorry there hasn't been a video in about two days' time. To be honest, there's not that much to do, and I kind of wanted to space it out, so I didn't do this video yesterday, and I'm doing it today instead. But if you got any more theories and any more comments, any more ideas, please be sure to send them over on the community tab. Like I've been getting all these, I've been really appreciating all the great ideas that you guys have been coming up so I can make these videos because they're very interesting to me where I gather a bunch of your ideas and theories and we talk about it in one video. Also remember you can send them in on Twitter or Instagram both at the DCTV show or you can email me them. My emails are in the description below. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this. So the first question comes from Fangal. On YouTube who asks if COVID goes away this September will the shows come back in October and will Supergirl and Legends and the other shows that are held to film in April will they come back earlier if COVID ends this September so let's answer the first bit first so if it goes away by September will the shows come back in October no they will not because they're going to be filming like at the end of the summer or something like that that's when they're projected to start filming like the end of July slash you know the start of August and basically they've just said it and they've just said the CW has said look we are not coming back in October we're gonna just make this as a precaution we're gonna push all our shows back a couple of months till January 2021 like when you think of it it's not actually that long because normally in October we get like I don't know like the episodes premiering towards the end of October to be honest like the last few weeks and then it's literally like two months that's it it's like November and December it's not the worst thing in the world so it's just a precaution from the CW to not set the October release dates and sort of let everyone down because they're gonna have to delay it until January say if uh, you know stuff doesn't calm down by the time when they're supposed to start filming in the summer so, you know, even if it goes away in September, like, or even before that, the shows aren't going to come back in October. Okay, so his next question was, will Supergirl and Legends that are held to film in April, will they come back earlier if it ends in September? So, they aren't held to film in April, they're going to be filming, well, Supergirl is going to be filming around November time, and that's when it's scheduled to return once Melissa's done with her maternity leave, and then Supergirl will premiere in like the end of April slash May slash June like sometime around then I would probably say it's May so no Supergirl is not being held to film until April and neither is Legends they're gonna start filming you know normal time and you know where they've been scheduled obviously Supergirl is not normal time but I suspect Legends will start filming in the summer like they did last year even though they premiered their episodes in January so I think the CW is just going to take that sort of thing, what they did with Legends, and do that this year for all the shows, obviously apart from Supergirl, but that's an exception. Okay, so let's move on to the next question. So Shatim plays YT on YouTube asks, is there a possibility of a crossover between The Flash and Batwoman for future crossovers? Okay, so yeah, I would say there's a chance, but I don't know with everything going on with Batwoman, I'm starting to doubt some of the crossover stuff they've talked about before obviously there's not been proper talks about the flash and batwoman crossing over specifically but it was definitely in the cards but now with how batwoman's going and we're gonna answer a question to do with batwoman very soon in this video i don't know how long batwoman's gonna last with a new cast member like it may go completely down the drain if this new cast member isn't as good as ruby rose and you know people start tuning out the show so we'll have to wait and see but there is definitely a possibility the flash and batwoman can cross over i think it really depends on how well batwoman does next season 
you know, considering all the changes that are going to happen. Okay, so the next question comes from Brody Osborne on YouTube who asks, What is your favourite crossover in the Arrowverse and what is your worst crossover in your opinion? Okay, so I would say the best crossover in the Arrowverse, and you guys can debate this down in the comments down below. Maybe give me your rankings of the crossovers, like the big crossovers. So my answer is for like a crossover in general, like not a massive crossover, but like a crossover. My favorite is probably the Flash and Supergirls crossover, their musical crossover duet. I absolutely love that episode. It's probably my favorite episode of DC TV of all time. So that's my favorite crossover overall. You know, coming up very close behind that is the World's Finest crossover with the Flash and Supergirl crossing over for the very first time. It just caught me out of nowhere and I totally forgot that they were going to cross over. Like I heard about it and obviously we had CBS at the time was running Supergirl and the CW was running the Flash. So, you know, it was kind of massive considering how things were working out and people were like oh it's probably not going to work out because you know the cw and cbs are different networks and then they said they were going to do it they started filming it and then like months later it came and i totally forgot and i was just watching supergirl and then just suddenly out of nowhere i start hearing the flash theme tune and barry comes in and saves Kara as she's falling out of the building i was like oh my god this is like the best thing ever so that's one of my favorite crossovers but in terms of like the big crossovers, like the four-way crossovers or the five-way like last year, my favorite is Crisis on Earth X. It was really, really good. I loved Overgo. I loved the Dark Arrow. You know, Reverse Flash showed up. That was the most interesting story we've had. And in regards to the worst big crossover, and I'm probably only going to say the big crossover, so it was probably Invasion, like Heroes vs. Aliens. Like, it was good. But it was just nothing really compared to, say, Crisis on Earth X. I think Elseworlds is better. I think Crisis on Infinite Earths is better. Like, I loved it at the time because it was, like, a massive thing. It was very revelatory, to be honest, because it was the first time we had this big four-way crossover. It was amazing at the time. I still love the episode, and I love all four episodes. But I just think they progressed on from that as of right now. Okay, so let's move on to the next question. So this comes from Joe Monroe on YouTube who asks, Any news about Green Lantern? So I'm presuming you're talking about the new Green Lantern show coming to HBO Max. So this is probably going to be set in the Arrowverse as well, but probably on a different Earth. But yeah, so what we've heard so far, potentially it might be set in the same sort of universe as the Green Lantern film. And we've heard rumblings that maybe John Diggle shows up at some point. But that's sort of uncertain. But as of right now, what they said recently is it's going to have really high production values. Like, you know, the production value of, say, like a film, like a proper big film. So, you know, it's going to look really nice. We know that for sure. And I think it's going to be somehow linked to the Arrowverse, considering that we have a lot of the people working on that show work on the CW's shows as well. Okay, so let's move on to the next question. So Marcus Barras on YouTube asks... Will the CW air the last two episodes of Supergirl Season 5 with episode 21 and 22 in Season 6? So, no, they're not going to do that because they never actually filmed that and they didn't plan to do that since, like, last December. So, no, that is the plain and simple answer because as soon as they found out that Melissa was going on maternity leave, they actually cut down the runtime the episode length from 22 to 20 and that was before all of this madness in the world sort of went on so they originally you know cut it down already to 20 so we won't get 21 and 22 obviously i think we might get some of the stuff from 20 in season 6 because they did film that episode and yeah they didn't finish it but they can use some bits in the next season so i would say that's more likely you know we're definitely not going to see stuff from 21 and 22 because that was scrapped to very long time ago now. Okay, so I can't read your name. I'm very sorry. I cannot speak that language. I apologize. So this person on YouTube asks, do you think that the shows are too crowded, like they have too many characters? So this is a thing that comes up quite regularly. So no, I don't think they're actually too crowded because, you know, it's sort of like the CW's thing. Like when they have like a leading character on the show, they always have all these characters back them up and uh, I'm very used to it and I think it would be weird if they were kind of just solo characters running a show like 
so I'm used to it so I would say that it's not too overcrowded but I guess some people could interpret it in a different way. Okay, so Marcus Barris has another question. He asks, will Katie McGrath direct an episode of Supergirl season 6 or in future seasons? So you would have to presume probably because a lot of the stars in shows, you know, like Supergirl or like The Flash or anything, they do go on to direct. So I guess it's kind of a no-brainer at some point if the show continues to go on for, you know, many seasons. I reckon maybe she will, but... You know, there's a chance that she doesn't want to or she just doesn't get that chance. And, you know, it kind of depends on, like, the availability of, like, who's directing what episode as well. Okay, so Topsy Crypt on YouTube asks, Whatever happened to the Green Arrow and the Canary spin-off series? Okay, so they recently said that they are still working on it and it's very much so probably going to happen. But as of right now, they haven't, like, ordered, like, a series run yet. But it's most likely going to be actually coming to the CW. But there is still a chance that it doesn't go through. But I would say, yeah, probably. Okay, so Glacier the Ice Wing on YouTube asks, I was wondering if you know how many seasons Batwoman will have due to Ruby Rose's leave. So this is the thing that I've been thinking about. I think if the show doesn't work next season, I think it could get cancelled. It could just be completely shut out because... I reckon a lot of fans are going to stop watching the show and with that you know the ratings would go down and if this new Batwoman is nowhere near as good as Ruby Rose I think it could completely flatline but that being said if this new Batwoman is amazing and you know it keeps up the viewership and everything like that it could go on for a long time like all these other CW Arrowverse shows but that really depends on who they cast so we'll have to wait and see. Let's move on to the next question. This is from Leaper on YouTube who asks, Will The Flash get a new suit for Season 7? Okay, so I would say probably not. But, you know, the question is, you know, will we see any upgrades? I don't think we're going to see a new suit because the suit last season was pretty good. Most people were happy with it. There was not too many complaints. So I would say he's going to keep the same suit for Season 7. The chance of gold boots coming may be the thing to talk about because they've talked about that for a long time. Grant has referenced it many times, so has Eric Wallace, and I think that's bound to happen at some point, but I don't see it happening next season. Could be the season after. But anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. That has been today's video, so please be sure to go to the community tab like you guys sent in all these questions to get featured on a video, send in your ideas and your theories and everything like that to do with the Arrowverse shows and I'll answer them on these videos. I will probably end up doing these videos like twice a week from now on because, you know, we don't have that much news and these videos are very interesting to make and I think you guys enjoy them from the feedback I've seen. So thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.